Hi, this is Hadass from I Can Canva in Hebrew, and today I'd like to teach you how you can make a stop motion video using 100% Canva only. This is something you can do with a Canva Pro account, and what I'd like to show you is how I put the strawberry inside the smartphone. So, for this demonstration, I picked a template, in this case a Facebook post, but you can use any other template. I went to the Photos tab and I typed in strawberry. I am looking for a standalone strawberry with no background. If you cannot find what you're looking for, you can always try and use the effect option and then go to remove background. So I picked this strawberry and I placed it at the edge of my page. This is just a little teaser to give our viewer an idea of what's going to happen. Then I duplicate this page and I move the strawberry just a bit to the right and also tilt it, give it a little angle. And then I repeat this again and again, each time moving a little bit to the right and giving it more angle, each time to a different direction. This will give a feel that the strawberry is actually moving. Once I reach the smartphone, I will place it just a little bit over the smartphone and then I will go to position and place my strawberry backward so the leaf will be behind the smartphone. Now I will go to the elements tab and I will look up for a strawberry that looks like a sketch or a vintage drawing. I will then place it inside my smartphone and this is where you need to use your patience. This is where I will need to make perfect match between my sketch strawberry and my photo strawberry. Now you see that my sketch is on top of the photo. I will have to change that position, but before I do that, I will want to crop it. Since I want only half of the sketch strawberry to show, I will go to the white bar at the top and I will click on crop. Now here's my number one tip. It is a little difficult to do this crop method when your object is sideways or in an angle. So I recommend to always put it straight up and then crop it and then move it around as you like. Then I will try to place it next to my real strawberry to make it a perfect match. Now since my sketch strawberry is on top of the photo and I don't want that to show outside my smartphone, I will have to change the position. So I will just click on my photo strawberry and then go to position and place it forward on top of my sketch. So then it looks a lot more realistic. I will go back to my fit zoom see that it looks fine and then I will duplicate this page. Now I will need to move the strawberry a little more to the right inside the frame of the smartphone. Now I will have to crop the real strawberry a little more and uncrop my sketch strawberry. You can uncrop what you cropped before. Now I make some little adjustments. And now I repeat it once more. I duplicate the page and I move the strawberry again. I will leave just a little bit of the real strawberry outside the smartphone just a tiny bit and I'm gonna uncrop my strawberry but not a hundred percent. I do want to leave a part of the leaf cropped and I'll place it exactly in its position. I will zoom in a bit. Oh no, this is too big. Make final adjustments and I I think that's pretty okay. 
Now I will duplicate it for the fourth time and you can do this as many times as you want and I will just leave the sketch strawberry at its 100% image. I will delete the real strawberry and that's it. Now, one important step before we save. In order for this video to become a stop motion, we need to add an animation. I will click somewhere, anywhere, on one of my pages on the background and once I do that, I will get the animate option at the top. When I click on that, I will choose the simple animation. You can see then it has three different speeds, slow, medium and fast. We will choose fast and I will check mark the apply to all pages. This will make my video a stop motion. Once I do that, I save my work as a video mp4 and this is what it looks like. How cool is that? Well, I hope you like it and I hope you do incredible things with it and please do share. Good luck and thank you. Bye.